welcome to now back to your regularly scheduled program. Good morning, good afternoon, and good night. Rocky and Marie here, and today we're going to be doing another 5x5 closure wig install. But today's wig is by Dulce Mateo, and hopefully I'm saying that right because I've been following this girl on YouTube for a very long time. Well, subscribe. For a very long time and I've watched her grow and do wig installs all the time she's absolutely amazing please check out her channel love her to death so I ordered a 5x5 wig from her in 250% density 24 inches body wave and I also got it dyed burgundy yes that 99j color everyone talks about I did have my hair in that same color I will have a picture right here um, about a year ago, right before I started YouTube, so I'm literally ready to be burgundy again. <laughs> but yeah, so let's get into the unboxing. So first, it came in like one of those big gold bags, and this bag came with it. I actually like this bag. as a wig bag. Boxes are kind of like bulky, but this I can literally just throw somewhere and get it together. So let's go ahead and zip open. So first off, as I can see already, is a wig cap. I love that her brand is literally on everything. This is giving like, yes, black girl, like real black business. Like if this was you nice, it would say you nice, but it says Dulce Mateo, okay? Get into it. Like, I love that. There is, oh, we got a little card. It says, thank you for your order. I don't want to rip the sticker. This is so cute. This is why you order from black businesses. Black owned businesses, sorry. Because they put so much effort and love into like everything. And it just like, it just makes your day. So there's a few things in here. The first thing I see, oh, is her business card. Oh no, it's not a business card. Oh, it's 10% off. My next purchase. Mm. Would you look at that? That's so cute. Um, oh, there's a thank you. Oh my gosh, and my name's on the back. So it says thank you from her. Thank you for choosing Dulce Mateo wigs, all that. This is so cute. This is like literally so cute. So it says, hi Raquel, thank you so much for choosing our custom wig service for your needs. XOXO Dulce, Oh, that's so cute. I love that. Little personalized things go a long way. There's also a recommended products and tips for your custom wig. Okay, recommended products. I like this a lot. I actually have some of these, but that is really awesome. I like this idea. And then tips are on the back, and then she has a few of her wigs. Oh, I love these wigs. Like, And then the receipt, obviously. I really like that. That is so thoughtful. Oh my gosh, there's lashes in here. Oh my goodness. You guys have to see these if it wants to focus. These are so cute. I'd actually wear these. They kind of look like the ones I have on now. But like they're not short at the ends. I kind of like this. I'm going to take these on my trip with me. I like this a lot. Um, and then we have what we've all been waiting for. The wig. So it comes in this big bag. And then it says Dulce Mateo wigs. So let's take her out. I know you guys are excited to see her just as much as I am. I had to wait a good few weeks for her, but it was worth the wait. Oh, you guys can already see that color. And look, it has this cute little tag. Oh my gosh, look at the tag. I know you guys are like, we're we don't have to see every little thing. Like, you don't understand, it's so cute. Always wanted one of her wigs. Oh, look at this color. Look at this color, guys. And it's curled for me already. Oh, I hope they're not frizzy. Because it's been in the back. 
But yes, let's just take this off. I'm like hesitating. Whoa. But yeah, this is a transparent lace. I will be tinting the lace, so no worries. Look at this. Wow, this lace is beautiful. These baby hairs are beautiful. This hair is literally so beautiful yeah i love that the baby hairs are there it does make it easier for me to install so let's look on the inside of the cap obviously it's five by five i did get an elastic band um added that oh my gosh it looks so good i love that it's like on the edge and not on the lace the combs are still on the inside i don't really care about that but basically i got a a pre-made wig and I had her customize it so from her vendor wherever her hair is from and then I got it customized so this is 250% density um lots of tracks I love that I love that it's 250 because it's so much hair like look how much hair this is straight it's gonna look gorgeous so I'm gonna put that in there and get right into it but yeah this is what a 5x5 closure looks like um, same thing with the one that's on my head, but the one on my head is the HD lace. So this is my first time using a transparent lace, which usually isn't good for girls with my skin color, but I'm not going to worry about it because all I got to do is just tint the lace. You can see your girl is right here and hanging out. She looks gorgeous. So what I also got from Dolce Mateo was her wig essentials kit, which I needed because I need some wig essentials. So, it came in another bag, mesh bag, with literally, with literally everything you need for wigs, install, everything. Wig cap, obviously, we already have it, but two more. Lace melt band. I love how like, most of her stuff had packet, had like, little packages and like stuff on there. I took some of them out, but I wanted to keep this one on just so you guys could see. And this is just basically a lace melt band. Um, most girls put like the elastic or whatever on it. You know, like the elastic thing and then they like tie it. But this one like has its own like... So we're just going to keep it on there. Just so you guys can see. Hair clips. I love these clips. She got me two of them actually, which I absolutely love. Um, so that is just to pin back your hair when you're installing, which is like really helpful, honestly. A wax stick. Love this. Love that. It's like a little firm hole deodorant. It's like, it's like a deodorant, like bottle, it like slides up and you just put it on the top. I think she already has it on there because it's, yeah. But yeah, this will be very useful. I will definitely be using this a lot. Um, so she also has a lace gel. This is the travel size. Very cute. And then she also has a full bottle size. So I got two lace gels in here. Two. Like, come on. It's crazy. Like, 35, 40 bucks for this. Lace gel. All of these, all of this will be in the description box below. Has a cute little spin off top. Um, these cute little baby scissors to cut off the lace. I think last time for my hair and so I used like a razor, which was like okay, but like not great. Um, I do wish I cut this a little better, but now I know I need to cut zigzag. And with this, I need to cut underneath the baby hairs. But we'll figure that out. We're gonna go really slow today. And then a um, heat protect, heat, heat proof, heat resistant, <laughs> heat resistant comb. It has this beautiful metal thing, you know, for like parting stuff. Um, if you want to part and then comb to like flat iron, all that. Very cute comb. Yep, love that. And then we got an edge brush with like this little spoolie at the end. I love that. I love these edge brushes that have like the comb and the brush. So it's like you could literally just 
sit here, comb out the baby hair, brush it up, all that. You got your scissors right here to cut your baby hairs. Honestly, I would add baby hairs to this, but it looks great when I wear hairs. But this wig, I'm going to love it with those cute little red baby hairs. But yeah, wig essentials kit. Get you one. You need it. Well, you might not need it, but you think you don't need it. You do. Literally has everything in there, especially for someone who's about to do a wig install or wants to try doing wig installs. Next, I want to show you some stuff that I will be using today for this wig. First of all, I'm going to show you my bio silk. It is almost done. I do need to get more. This is bio silk. Makes the hair like a little less frizzy, all that. Basically does almost the same thing as Garnier's Sleek and Shine. This is anti frizz serum. I probably use these two together. I already put the bio silk in it, but I'm going to add this in there also just to help keep those curls a yeah, little green bottle i also bought i wanted to try this olive oil wrap and set mousse because i have used the lot of body i have used the ebony i have used the what's the other one nairobi so i decided that i'm going to try the olive oil one now and then one of the most important things for today, our lace tint, which is from Ebon, Ebon, New York. So this is what we're gonna use to tint our lace. And we're actually gonna do that right after we put more serum into the curls. So yeah, and it's in the color dark brown. I could have got a darker color. I don't know if they have a darker one, but I felt like dark brown would be great. I didn't wanna go too dark. All right, y'all, so we are back with my Dulce Mateo wig. And basically, right now, I'm just going to be adding my Garnier Fructis, just a little bit of her. And I'm just trying to make sure, like, the curls are frizzy from being in the package, which is totally understandable. So, what we're gonna do next is tint the lace. So, first off, I am gonna take her off of the stand and I already tested out the lace um, stuff on this wig. Which I think it made a difference. Hopefully it made a good difference. I think it did. So now I'm gonna move this down and lock it and scoot it back. I'm gonna turn this over. Uh, would I recommend doing it like this? Probably not. At this point, I'd probably skip to this part, but it probably took about five minutes of me trying to figure out how to lay this down. So, you guys can see the lace. That's the top of the lace. So I'm gonna scoot, scoot her back. What did the direction say? Because Raquel cannot read directions and do things correctly. Remember, we're using the Ebian Lace Tint in Dark Brown. <clears throat> Directions, spray a light layer onto a clean, dry lace, dry lace, check, clean, check, by holding the lace wig inside out, inside out, spray onto the inner portion of the lace, shake well and hold one to three inches away from the lace, evenly spray the back side of the lace for a toned color, can be used with other Evian tinted lace shades to achieve a customized look, air drying recommended for best results if more tone is needed, simply repeat the above steps. No makeup magic, all rich tones. I love this. So we're gonna shake. How long did it say to shake? Shake well. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. Okay. We shook it, I think. And we're gonna spray. All right, y'all, I'm back. The lace tint is dry. I did add a second coat, but I think we're gonna be good. So, 
let's put her on. I'm really excited to see what she looks like. Um, I already know she fits. Yup. Oh, it's so snug. Oh, mama mia. Mama mia. Sorry, I'm looking in the other mirror I have. Let me scoot up. Oh, wow. This wig is literally gorgeous. So, I should have my smaller mirror, but I don't. I'm gonna go get her. But yeah, we're basically in the middle. This wig is so pretty. Oh my goodness. Wow. Giving very much bad. And I feel like the lace literally looks so good on me. I love this. I love this so much. Okay, so. What we're gonna do first, I don't even wanna mess up the part. I actually just wanna try and install it just the way it is right now. So first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna get my mirror and we're gonna cut the lace. All right, so I might have it a little lower than where I would actually install, but that's just so that I can see. So we're gonna use the clips. As of right now, it's like attached to the lace. So I'm just gonna Pull them up a little bit. First things first, we're gonna cut this off. So I'm gonna try to cut in a way that you guys can see. I think you guys can see it here. Yeah? Okay. So I'm just gonna cut this off. And some people cut in the middle, which I could do, which I feel like I should. It's not really the middle. So I'm just gonna cut up. So we cut that side. It looks okay. So back to cutting zigzag. Oh, let's cut this side. So hopefully you guys were able to see all that, or most of it. Okay. Like I said, I think I will be adding more baby hairs.
so yeah now that that is done I kind of know where I want the wig that's a little too figure out what position is the best I don't know guys maybe right here maybe a little bit more I'm thinking like right here. So now I'm gonna go in with the lace glue and I don't know how much it's gonna be, but let's just see. So I'm just gonna rub and then place. I'm gonna comb the baby hairs back down and put on the lace band just so we can get this melted. I think we got it covered in most of the spots that I need. Alright, so now I'm just fixing the curls a little bit. Um, I'm basically just going over them the way that she did. So, for example, she curled it this way. It looks like. So, I'm just gonna curl it that way. Like I said, I'm not a pro at curling on my head. Oh. Oh God. Usually I catch the curl, but I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like. Usually I curl on my wig heads rather than while I'm sitting doing my hair because I feel like I do a better job when I can see it in my face.
Now that this is done, I'm just gonna do the other side and we're gonna come back and we're gonna take off the lace and do our edges. So yeah, I'll be right back. All right, so we're back. I finished curling the entire thing, as you can see. This side actually went a lot better than this side. This side started falling. I actually used like a mirror and stuff to do this side, but I'm just gonna take it out so you guys can see what she's looking like. And then we'll be able to take off the lace band and see what she's looking like. I wonder if anyone refers to their wig as a he. I feel like a mullet is a he wig. That's about it. <laughs> oh, look at these curls. Off. Oof, and see how she's looking. Oh, she's really flat. She might be a little too flat. Mm, maybe. She is laid. I do feel like I could put a little bit of like my powder on my hair because when I look through here, it doesn't look bad, but up here, it kind of, it, it looks okay. I don't know. I'm going to see when I play the video back how it looks. Um, but I think she looks good. I think she looks glorious. <laughs> I do want to cut these edges, so I'm just going to cut right here. I don't know what I cut or who I cut, but somebody got cut. Someone got cut. Alright, so we're going to put the olive oil a little bit on my hand. I kind of did a brush already, so I'm just going to brush again. show y'all how I like my baby hairs. Oh, I need a little bit more. Just wake it up. Oh, okay. Um, fun fact, don't put it on lace. Okay, so yeah, I don't like, I don't like this because it just It just like brought the color back in my lace. I really don't like that. So my lace was fine.
Alright y'all. So it is a bit frizzy, but I do look I do like how it looks. I like how it looks a lot. Um on camera it probably looks a bit lighter. Like the lace looks a bit light, but um when I look in the mirror in my bathroom, my hair looks absolutely great. I'm gonna add foundation just to see what that does. So I'm just gonna This hair looks amazing. I'm gonna put my fingers through it. It's a little tangled. But yeah. Like I said, this is 24 inches. Five by five. Burgundy 99J closure. <laughs> I don't know. I'm really excited about this wig. So my butt is like Right here, this is my book. Yeah. All right, guys, that is it. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you guys so much. You don't understand. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell notification so you get notified every time I make a new video. <laughs> yes, thank you so much again. And you guys have a wonderful day, evening, night, whatever you're doing. And I love you all. Please check out the rest of my videos. And yeah, bye. Mwah.